Hello and welcome back to Factorio Fix It. My name's Negative Root and let's get cracking. Today we're playing a factory by uh, Glock 30 owner. <laughs> uh, but not fuck it up. <laughs> he has guns. <laughs> now, uh, Glock uh, sent me an email. He said, hey, I would really appreciate it if you could take a look at my Factorio save and offer suggestions and improvements. I'm a Factorio newbie, less than five games, none completed. The settings for biters are turned down, but this is not a passive game. My current objectives in the game are to get solar power operation and tuning my science production. But that kept getting interrupted by biter attacks and resource shortages, which I believe I have fixed in brackets mostly. Thanks for consideration, Block 30 owner. Let's go and have a look. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, research. Automated construction sounds good. Now, I haven't had a look at this yet, but uh, let's see. Base, copper, base, iron, okay, yes, I'm feeling you. We have uh, construction bots and, okay, bots, bots. Blue science up and running, red science, green science. Oh my god, that's an uh, interesting way of doing that. Okay, there's the thing and that's the thing as well, okay. Right. Right, steel production. The steel is going on to. Oh, okay, I see. How's steel. No, there's plenty of steel. There's plenty of everything. Okay, that looks really nice. Uh huh. A little bit of an inserter trick just to get it onto one side of the belt. Oh, okay, I see. Um. One, two, three, one, two. You know, right here I could do this in two. Um, two corners, that is. I'll, uh, I'll show you how. Oh my god, what the hell? Okay. First things first, uh, <laughs> we're going to do a little bit of uh, inventory management. Actually, I don't want to be... No, I'm not. Excellent. Uh, oh, look at them all, look at them all, oh my god, uh, right, get rid of them, don't want them, don't want that, actually I probably do want them, don't want them, go away, okay, we'll ditch them, ditch them, and ditch them, don't want them either, there's ain't nobody got time for trains, nah, so yeah, as I was saying, I can do this in fewer turns, right? So if I break it here, here, uh, actually we have a deconstruction planner if we think of, oh no we don't, not quite yet. Oops, yeah, fly free. Oops, I shouldn't, didn't mean to do that. Okay, and now. So here's one. Okay. Here's the other. Same thing, fewer turns. Uh, so, there's that. Ooh, that's a little bit of a bus line ready to go. There may be an upcoming red, red circuit build coming up there. That'd be cool. Okay. Oh, this is good. This is very good. I like this. That doesn't have to be there if he keeps that line clear. But, uh, you know, whatever. Okay, a bit of a setup thing going here. Iron mining, which is <laughs> looking somewhat thin. Okay, that's all of that. Ooh, some nice. Wow. Yep. Some nice uh, oil processing right there. This is a an impressive factory for um, a supposed newbie. No laser turrets either. Okay, that's an interesting choice, but okay. I do like how he's used the iron as the bus line and not the actual ammo line. So he's got little assemblers, you know, just assembling in, in, in situ basically to get what he wants. Now that's a lot of them. Okay. 
Wait, there's less than 200, sounds good to me. Yeah, take them. Okay, so let's keep the research going. Let's grab alien tech, because that's going to be needed shortly. And what we need to do is we need to do a build for solar panels. Now, solar panels are very, very resource intensive. They need steel, they need um, copper, I'm uh, sorry, circuits, and they need copper. So we've got two of the three there. I don't think there's any kind of combined processing as of yet. I tossed out a bunch of stone bricks, so I might grab some of them back. And grab maple, oh shit. Okay, well that's a bugger. Um, that's gonna take a while. So what we need to do is yeah, come up with a a build for uh, let's have a look here for a moment, actually. There's two K in the system, right? So what we could do, right, is if we could fit it in this space, we could Yeah, delete a lot of things. Okay, so that's the plan. So we're going to change over the iron production to completely electric furnaces. Going to get rid of the, these old ones. Hopefully they're going to fit. <laughs> oh dear. It could be good. It could be really good. Naya. So this is all fine. So this is splitting and that's taking the... Yep, okay. So that's worked till 5,000. That's good. I'm happy with all of that. Which means that we'll... Okay, because there's this here and it's pretty short, we won't have to limit the actual steel production itself um, because there's a limit on this box here. So we'll keep that in mind when we build this build. Now I'm just letting this run while we just wait for our furnaces. What we'll do is we'll come... Actually, what we could do is we could move this down by one. So that'll just give us a fraction more room. So this would work less than... Steel less than 5,000. It was going to be steel only. Please don't. Okay, that's good. That didn't explode. Okay. Got that under control. Yes, there, there, there. Pick some of these up. So these take up a deceptive amount of space. Okay. So now we can probably space these out a little bit better because I know where they're going to fit. We'll go something like this. Oh, uh, um, did um, did um. Oh, we can make that fly. That doesn't have to be like that. We can put this here. Same thing different look. Now, do we have the big power poles? Yes, we do. Huh? So every... two have a space there. It means we need one approximately there. Now the way we'll get this to work is just by using an underground belt to place the power line. Simple. In an interesting kind of way. Right, let's throw down what we need to. That'll have to go there. Uh, we need probably... Well, we don't need that. We can just use these, I'm thinking. Because steel is very slow. It's not what you would call a rapid process. Yeah, there's tons of time. Tons of time. Brilliant. 
So that has sorted that issue. Now, how how is come on seriously? I'm just spitballing here for a moment. So just bear with me. Uh huh. Because I'd really, really like to do the build up here. Because you'll notice that we've got a bit of stuff up here already. Now, I wonder if these are in the network. So we've got this, right? We've got this, right? Um, and we can, we can use that here ish. That's really inconveniently placed, I'm telling you. Nope, that's a perfect spot for it. Okay, we'll dodge it up and put it there. No. Nope. Right. So this is going to be steel here, running up there. Uh, we're going to have to do a little bit of a a trick. Um, this isn't how I like to do things, but you got what you got to work with. Now you got to work with what you got. Is what I'm trying to say. Filter steel, 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 steel. Now, unfortunately, that isn't balanced, so that we'll have to just balance it over here. Wonderful. Done. Oh, we have rather large iron issues. Huh, go figure. Just drop this to 2000. And we'll make a change here. Because this isn't going to fly. Okay, it needs to be something like this. And we'll run that off there. It's got to be the ugliest splitter contraption I've ever built. Look at that. There's a solid bank of twit splitters. Oh my god. Sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. A lot of the time I don't know what I'm doing. Let's do solar panels. Near. Hoping that these are in the factory somewhere. It's over here. Oh. 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 Hmm. Having blasts of better throughput, and that's because of the train. I'm thinking. And then it's shutting down again. Oh, that's problematic. That's a bit hefty from what I've done, I think. Anyway. Okay, okay. So we have our build, and... It's just a question, really, of how we want to run it.
So we stick it down somewhere here. We'll do it a chunky, chunky build. Where is, of course, no, bloody red circuits. Why is that just an iron chest, really? Yeah. Worked less than 500. We'll change that to 2,000. 2,000. 2,000. Thank you. And that's all kinds of wrong. Uh, this sh should be here. This should be here. This needs to be worked when that's. We're going to filter this. 2,000. Outstanding. This is going to create more resource, resource shortages, but whatever. New. What do we do here? Is that going to reach? Oh my god, check that out. That is what's up. Brilliant. Absolute genius. So, right, uh, we'll do that, do that, do that, do that. And we'll do a couple of these, a couple more of these. So this is going to run pretty fast, and it's going to s drain the life out of this factory. <laughs> I tell you, it's uh, it's not going to be pretty. That's all powered up. Let's power it up properly. Here we go. Now, oh, I haven't thought very well about this, so I'm going to go some stuff now one two three and four okay and I'll just I'll explain in a second why I'm doing that oh yes we don't have to set a filter there we can just say work less than 500 in the factory and this is going to be Oh, uh, actually, I've done the wrong thing there. Derp, did you do it? What am I doing? Copy that to there, to here, to here, and to here. And this can just be a normal, regular inserter. Right. So what this is doing is this is going to control the factory on the input and really take care of everything to do with um, the amount that it's building. And I'll shut it off quite quickly. Um, the, as you can see though, it's just going to suck the life out of everything because there are some serious resource shortages. It's not with copper, it's with uh, iron plate. That's the issue right now. So I am going to take a quick break and then I'm going to come back with a second episode from uh, Glock 30's uh, factory. He owns guns, so I need to do, uh, do a good run at it, otherwise he'll come and shoot me. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. But seriously, he has guns. So I'll be right back. <laughs>